So what do we follow from this point? The electric jam you are changing. That's where we go. Yeah. What goes there? The three ADHs. Okay. The FADH and the APP. The APP tells oh, you technically. Yeah, but, but yeah, so we're just following these guys. To the small part on um, electron transport. Yeah, that is the um and I don't like to draw this guy. What is that? It's called can be pumped through multiple ones, but yeah. these electrons go through here. Yeah. <coughs> or this hydrogen, sorry. And the F Don't technically need to go through that. FADH go through this. Real second. quick. Oh. Um, let's just follow these electrons real quick. Yeah. So where do they go? They go into the other complexes as well. Do they go straight through? Yeah. Oh wait, it goes over the first one and through mm -hmm. the rest. Yeah, because this guy is kind of more, if I drew this more to scale, it would be like this. One, two, three, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So it's just it goes through it. FADH goes through the second and third one. So it's this hydrogen. So it's going to FADH too. Yeah. No matter what, because it's. You have to have two. Yeah, because it's not FAD plus, it's FADH. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> Sweet. Yeah, which is why you see this one written both ways, because technically another hydrogen comes off, but it's NADH is your product, and this one is FADH, so your product is FADH too. Just so you know. So since, since hydrogen is through the first and second and third complexes, right? Okay. So the NADH, per NADH you produce three ATP. And for an FADH you produce two ATP. Okay. And what is this thing? That is the ATPase. Cool. And they talked about kind of how it's how it makes it. Hydrogen has the high density inside, so the forces are going through. High concentration. Mm -hmm. High Based concentration. Down its concentration gradient. So the forces are going through down, going down its concentration gradient creates the reaction that puts the ATP and the phosphate together. It's kind of like a a thing that's spinning around in circles, so it grabs an ATP and a phosphate, mm -hmm. slams them together. So. Is that active transport, past um, facilitated fusion, simple diffusion, or secondary active transport? Secondary active transport. Bam. Bam. Okay. Lots of ATP used, just <laughs> not directly. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. And so you produce two ATP of glycolysis. You produce two ATP from a citric acid cycle or um, Krebs cycle, so that's four. Thirty-four from the electric transport chain per glucose because each pruvate produces three in ADH plus. So real quick, which 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 did they tell you to memorize as a total number? Um, you said thirty-eight. Okay. Because so and also double and check with the module. Talk about thirty-six, but he focused on thirty-eight. Okay. Because double check with the module because. Different ones disagree. Okay, mm -hmm. but yeah, cool. You got that. Awesome. And so, ten. There's ten NADH that go through the electric transport chain from a glucose, which produces thirty. Two FADH, which produces four. Yeah, four. And then plus the other four you get from glycolysis. Uh, FADH produce three each. Two. It's the NADH that produces three. 
3 ATP? Yeah, because it starts at the very beginning, and so it goes through more complexes. 